Hello and welcome to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel and this is a new feature on the channel, it's called The Issue and what I'm going to do is every week talk about general football issues and what I think about them and get your opinions on it as well in the comments section down below. Now because this week has been an international weekend I thought I'd quickly talk about some of my thoughts and opinions on international football and first of all let it be clear that I do not like international football much at all. I feel that a lot of the games, the competitive games, are not very competitive. But I am looking forward to Wales playing tomorrow night because it's probably the biggest game in the last 20 years or so for Wales. It's the best chance that we've got of getting into the playoffs for a long, long time as well. And hopefully uh, we'll do it. But I think from all the permutations that need to happen, I think Wales actually winning and beating the Republic of Ireland is the most unlikely. So the first issue that I've got with international football is the break that we have to have from club football. Everybody, every fan loves club football more than they love international football. I know for the casual fan, the World Cup and the European Championships are entertaining, but when you follow a club, that's all you want to see. You only want to see your team week in, week out, doing well and progressing. And particularly when your team is doing well, like mine is at the moment then you want to see them and I can't wait till next Saturday when Wolves play Villa and it wasn't that long ago that international football was played in midweek in between football league fixtures but now with the influx of foreign players from all over the world it's impossible to send somebody like Alexis Sanchez to South America to play a friendly against Bolivia and then come back before a game on a Saturday. Another issue I have is with the FIFA ranking system because it is just provided England with easy qualifying groups for years and years and years, which I think is the main cause of their problems in full tournaments. Because they have such easy qualifying groups, because they're always seeded roughly in the top 10, top 15 in the world, then there'll be top seeds in the European qualifying section and play teams like Azerbaijan and Lithuania and Scotland and qualify pretty easy, easily year in year out but then when it comes to the tournament where they haven't played a competitive fixture against the top ranked team for two years or so then they come unstuck and I can see the same happening again in this World Cup cycle. So possibly in some respects it might be good for England to be a second seed in a group perhaps for the next qualifying campaign. I know they don't get to choose but they are currently ranked 15th and there are I think eight European teams above them at the moment, Wales being one of them, which is mad. So there is a chance that they could be seeded second for their group, which would mean a tougher challenge. Another thing that has annoyed me recently was after the last round of international fixtures, a phone caller rang 606 and talked about how he was an Arsenal fan and he would not cheer for Harry Kane regardless of the shirt that he was wearing. Now I think that is ridiculous. You're either an England fan or you're not an England fan. Whoever is wearing that shirt on that day, you should be getting behind. The other day, Hal robson Khan, who came on for Wales, Albion player, I don't care who he plays for. If he's wearing that Wales shirt, I want him to do well. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, if you want to see more of these, then drop a like. Subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts in the comments section down below. I'll see you next time.